What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So after learning how to plan an electrical system, like specifying the electrical settings, defining the required lighting, and creating uh, creating color fields and schedules. So this uh, series of videos that I'm going to work on, we're going to learn how to design an electrical system. Okay, so in this lesson, so we are going to create electrical systems like uh, lighting circuits, power circuits, and switch systems by establishing logical connections between electrical components. So we will be learning how to add devices and fixtures using schedule to satisfy the required lighting levels, create circuits, create power loads. So you, let's use the system browser again to check our design. So we're going to balance wire sizes and breaker service, and we're going to create a panel schedule. Now for the first video, so we are going to add lighting fixtures using schedules and color fills. So in this exercise, we're going to place lighting fixtures in the drawing using the color fill plan and the space analysis schedule that we have created previously as an aid in lighting placement to satisfy the required lighting levels. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to modify the color plan to illustrate the space by the average estimated illumination value. So it's very simple. And these values are based on internal lighting level calculations, which use the space floor and wall reflectance values and work plane height to automatically calculate average illuminance or lighting levels. Then as we place the lighting fixtures, so we are going to verify the illuminance values to indicate that when the lighting level requirements have been satisfied. Okay, so first, let's modify the color fill. So to do that, so let's say for example, I want to change the color of my less than 20 foot candle here. On my legend so let's say I want to change this to orange okay so to modify the color fill so let's select the required lighting levels color fill legend and then let's select here edit scheme okay so right now here on our category spaces the selected here is required lighting so what I'm gonna do is I want to select the average estimated illumination Okay, so you can create additional color schemes, then modify the color scheme legend to use the color fill plan as a design tool for many tasks, by the way. Alright, so I select the average estimated illumination. And then here on my scheme definition, so what I want to do is, I want my less than 20 foot candle, uh, candle color to be orange. So I'm going to select that color. And then I'll just select here orange. So let's say, for example, this is the one. So I'll just select here OK. Right? And then I'll just select here OK. And then let's uh, zoom out. OK, so it's now applying. And there you go. So, so you will notice that the library has an average estimated illumination less than 20 FC. So by um, using orange as the color for this range, so we can quickly identify those areas of the building that do not meet the specified lighting requirements. Okay? Right. But of course, we're not going to do that in every room of this building. So let's do that on the library 219 here. Okay? Right. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is let's open up the schedule here. So let's go to the project browser and then I'm going to open the space lighting analysis uh, schedule that we have learned how to create last time. So at the moment, there is no color coding for my lighting delta here and for my uh, average estimated uh, illumination here. So let me just adjust that. Okay. So if you remember last time, we went to the properties here. And then I go to the formatting. So I select here, edit. All right. And then for my uh, average estimated 
illumination so what i want to do is i want to select this and i want to select the conditional format okay so i want to highlight uh, those average estimated illumination with a zero foot candle so that's why i'm gonna select the test here and then i'm going to select equal to zero foot candle so i want that to be highlighted here on my schedule so i want to change the color here so let's say i want that to be yellow and then i select here okay right and then i'll just select here okay so that's for my average estimated illumination and i also want to create a color for my lighting delta okay if you remember last video so we created this kind of conditional format for lighting delta wherein we went to the conditional format and then for the lighting delta we have selected here uh not between uh what's this uh not between uh, minus five foot candle and um five foot candle okay and then i'll just change the color here and then i want to make that red and then i select okay select okay and then let's select okay here and there you go so it's now applied here on our average estimated illumination and lighting delta now um the next thing that i'm gonna do is i want to open another view let me open the ceiling plan the level two lighting ceiling so i double click that all right so we now have three views open here and as you can see the color coding is already applied there as well so we have lighting color fill level two floor plan so we have space lighting analysis schedule and then we have the level two lighting ceiling so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the tile views here or i'll just type wt just select that and there you go all right so we now have the ceiling plan and then we have the floor plan so let me just zoom in to the library because this is where we are going to work on so let me just zoom in to the library and then there's our schedule so by the way the order of the tiled windows is determined by the order in which the windows were activated so windows are arranged in a counterclockwise order with the last activated window appearing in the uh, upper left corner okay so now um the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to add uh fixtures so like what i have said so we are going to work on our library here we're not going to work on all the building or all the rooms in this building so just one room is enough for you to be able to understand what i'm trying to say and then here on my space lighting analysis schedule so let me look on the uh library which is this one this one here so let me just zoom to that so here and as you can see when i selected here on my schedule it also highlights on our uh, floor plan and ceiling plan so we are working on here as you can see it's uh, minus 50 here and then the other one is zero fc so that's why it's colored uh, yellow and colored red here all right so here is now our uh, library okay so our space library on the floor plan and then on our ceiling so as you add lighting fixtures to the library the illumination values on our schedule in the color field plan and schedule analysis will automatically update so the schedule indicates the average estimated illumination as yellow for values of zero uh, zero fc or zero foot candle and then the uh, lighting delta as red for values out of the plus minus five foot candle range specified in our conditional format for this field so the color field plan also indicates in orange which is here okay so i'll just click out i'll just uh, press escape here okay so as you can see it shows orange okay to indicate an illumination value below uh, 20 fc which is the lowest value in the specified range so as we add lighting fixtures to the library 
all of these colors, the yellow, red, and orange, will be clear to white, indicating a value greater than zero foot candle. So the red field will clear once the plus five, uh, plus minus five foot candle range is satisfied. So the color field will change colors as lighting fixtures are placed that raise the illumination level above 20 FC. So the colors will coincide with the values in the color field legend and note that the lighting delta can be cleared. However, the color field plan can display within the range below the specified value because of the plus minus 5 FC range. So all of this works as a visual aid for the designer to ensure the design requirements are met. Okay, so let's place a lighting fixture. So let me put it here on my ceiling plan. So I go to the Systems tab, and then I select the lighting fixture here. And then from the Properties, let's use here our uh, 2 by 2 lamp, uh, recess parabolic light, 2 by 2 lamp, 277. So I select that one, and then I'm going to make sure that Place on Face is selected. Okay, so it allows the fixtures to be hosted by the ceiling plan so that as the ceiling plan moves vertically, the fixtures will move accordingly. Okay, so, right, so I'm not going to place it here. So let's say I put one here. And then check out what will happen here on our room 219. So I'm going to uh, put one here. So place. There you go. So it's starting to change now. So it becomes 2FC and then it becomes minus 48FC. So I select here modify. So we are going to copy that. Okay. So by the way, another thing, if you select the lighting fixture, you click the lighting fixture and then you see the calculate coefficient of utilization. So it must be checked. So this option must be selected in order for lighting information to be updated in the color field plan and schedule. Okay? Ano? Nantayin mo lang kamala. Taposin ka lang to. Alright, so let's copy now our lighting fixture. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to select copy. I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that the multiple here is checked. And then I'm going to pick a base point somewhere here. So I'm going to pick that. And then we're going to add two more fixture here. So I'm going to place one here. And then I'm going to place another one here. And then I select here modify. And then as you can see, it's now beginning to change here. Okay. So I'm going to copy more. So I'm going to select this. Hold control, click, click, and then let's copy. So make sure multiple is checked. So I'm going to pick here. That's my base point. So I'm going to place one here. I'm going to place one here. I'm going to place one here. Place one here. So as you can see, it's now starting to change. The color is now starting to change on the floor plan. And there you go. So if I click here, so as you can see, our 219 is still uh, red here, but it's no longer yellow because it's already more than zero. So it's already 32 FC. So, okay, so I'm not going to press escape. Okay, so next, uh, let's change the property of our lighting fixture here. So I'm going to select this, hold control, click, 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 hold control, click, click, click. So let's change this one, okay? So I'm gonna change that to uh, two by four, uh, three lamp, 277 volts. So once I do this one, I click this, and there you go. And then I select here, modify. So as you can see here, the value now is 53 FC, and then the lighting delta now is three FC. Okay, so it's now met the uh, lighting delta that we have set a while ago, which is plus or minus. It should be not uh, plus or minus uh, FC. So it's now 
white and this one is not orange anymore right okay so basically that's how you uh, modify your your lighting fixtures using your space lighting analysis okay so that's how you add lighting fixtures using our schedules and color fills so hopefully you understand this uh, video so if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can okay so i can by the way move this i just want to make it look tidy okay so i'm gonna move that i'll just move it here and then modify there you go okay so as you can see our average estimated illumination is 53 foot candle and then our lighting level here is 3 fc okay within the range so in our next exercise we're going to modify the light fixture iesfiles all right so thank you for watching guys have a nice day